Hi guys, Drew here. This is another 2018 Pagan Challenge video and R is for removing daggers and cutting cords. So you've probably heard these terms before. Maybe not, I don't know. Um, I don't know if they run around in witchy communities per se, but I do know they run around in spiritual communities and metaphysical communities. It's something that used to come up a lot when I was working at Compass Rose. And it's basically, okay, so removing daggers, removing daggers. This is daggers, arrows, knives, whatever you want to call them. And we are talking about energetic daggers. Someone is angry at you and they're sending bad juju your way and they're shoving these little daggers in your back, essentially, these little energetic daggers in you. Every once in a while, it's a good idea to sort of sit with yourself and to see these energetic daggers, whether we know who they're coming from or not, and, and ask that they be removed. Now, there are many methods for removing these daggers. Um, personally, I work with angels, so I will call in an angel that I feel is appropriate to help me with this. There have been times also where I have worked with my healing guide to do this. You can work with anybody you want and you don't have to work with anybody at all. You can just do it yourself. But to me, they, the reason I ascribe different titles to them as far as like daggers and swords and arrows is for me, they feel energetically a little bit different. Um, daggers are like the smallest. Someone shoves an energetic sword through your back and it's going to feel different than an energetic dagger. And the same is true for arrows. In my experience, these are typically, they are not intentional. These people don't know that they're, they're doing that. They're just pissed off at you or whatever and just, just, secreting this emotion and it is being directed at you so it's having an effect on you energetically speaking also when i remove daggers from myself i remove them from the other person i figure if they're sending daggers to me i'm probably sending them back while i'm sitting and visualizing whomever is assisting me removing and dissolving these daggers swords arrows what have you I will ask that the same happens for the other person if I have a person in mind and I will visualize it happening for them as well because to me these daggers and arrows can be similar to cords which is what I'm going to get to next and that they can go both ways and that they can be connected and in order to really heal it we need to work on both sides um, as much as we can. We can't help if the other person is still going to be mad and sending those bad juju, but we can um, put ourselves in a position to be able to be forgiving and to let that go and to wish them well so that we are not feeding into the situation any further. Again, if you get in a fight with someone and you notice you're not feeling well and you keep thinking about that person and they're just, this, there's an ickiness there, then you can probably bet that there's some energetic dagger going on um but a lot of times we won't even necessarily know because it could just be you know the old lady giving us the ugly look at the store or something i don't know you know it could just be some random thing so for me it's a good idea to just once in a while kind of check in um energetically and this is again why i like working with someone outside of myself calling in whomever it is I'm going to work with and asking that any daggers that are there be removed and dissolved. And if I have sent any to whomever sent them to me, that the same be done. And actually I haven't done this in a long time and it's something now that I'm making this video, I need to sit down and do. Um, cutting cords. This one is a little bit more in depth. When we have relationships with people that are toxic and it's a continuing relationship, we can build this sort of energetic cord, umbilical cord almost, to the individual. And it's just feeding toxicity energetically back and forth between us. Now this happens a lot with like parents and siblings and other relatives, lovers, 
anyone that we've had a particularly strong and intense relationship with or a relationship that has lasted for an extended period of time. I am sure that we have energetic cords with people that um, we do not have toxic relationships with and it's a beautiful thing. But when I'm talking about cutting cords, I'm talking about these toxic relationships. I'm going to use my father as an example. Any of you who've watched me have known it's a terrible relationship. Years and years ago, when I first heard about the cord thing, I realized that, and actually, okay. I realized that I had a cord when I sat and energetically sat in that space and worked in that idea of trying to figure out if I had any cords. Um, the first one that came up, I absolutely had, I mean, it was like, I would describe it as a tree trunk from my back, my lower back to my dad. And it took me a year of cutting that cord with the help of Archangel Michael and his fiery sword to get rid of that cord. And as I sit here talking to you, like just a minute ago, I actually checked in. Um, and there's a little one trying to come back. I can, um, it, it sounds crazy, but there is a little one trying to come back, um, with all the stuff that's gone on. And this was probably seven or eight years ago that I did this cord cutting in the first place. And, and, um, because our relationship didn't end then I should have been checking in and, um, continuing to do the work and I didn't. So now I need to, I'm really glad I've done this video. Um, I have work to do. Um, but yeah, the idea is that we are polluting, we are allowing ourselves to be polluted energetically and that we may be also polluting the other individual energetically. And if we can sever that energetic link, that energetic cord that binds us, then we can become lighter and freer of the toxicity. For me, integrity, personal integrity is a huge part of my spiritual path. And so it's not just, I mean, it's very important to me that I don't have toxic goop leaking into me, energetically speaking. But it's also very important to me that if I am sending that out into the world to someone else that I take responsibility for it and clean it up, clean up my own mess. So, um, this time when I sit and I do this, um, removing of daggers or what have you, and this cutting of cords, I am also going to, um, hit it up with my personal blend of Reiki, which I've talked about before. I use platinum ray energy, Reiki, and then Sith, a clearing exercise, um, to really clear it out and bring it back, do my best to bring it, bring the situation back to spiritual perfection as it were. Um, and I'd never really done that before. I thought about it until this very moment, but if you practice Reiki or any kind of energy work, I think that it could only be beneficial to use it in conjunction with these exercises if you perform them. For me, these exercises are highly visual. I close my eyes and I'm visualizing the whole thing. It's very working with energy, you know, it's a very energetic visual experience. There's all kinds of information I am sure on the internet. I mean, you can find anything on the internet. So if you Google cutting cords or removing daggers um, as a spiritual exercise and practice. I'm sure you'll come up with some information about it. I'll try to remember to leave a link in the description for a Hibiscus Moon video. She is an expert on crystals and she's definitely into the spiritual metaphysical um, properties of it, but she comes to that through science, which I love. So she doesn't sound like a crazy crystal lady. She's um, very intelligent. And if you haven't watched her, you should, but I will try to remember to leave a link to one of her videos about stones that help us with cord cutting in the description. I've talked about this way longer than I intended. Thanks as always for listening guys. And until next time, much love and gratitude.